The Late Bronze Age collapse around 1200 BC was one of the most important times in our history. Within a period of 40 to 50 years, almost every significant city in the Eastern Mediterranean world was destroyed, many of them never to be occupied again. The 382 Armana letters represent one of the greatest archaeological proofs that the history of the Bible and the conquest under Joshua of the Promised Land is true. The Hebiru, also spelled Apiru, are the Hebrews under the command of Joshua who are attacking the ones who are writing the Armana tablets. If you would like to read the Armana tablets in full, please pause this video. Now we move to Deuteronomy and the other side of the battle, the Hebrews' point of view. The people is greater and taller than we. The cities are great and walled up to the heaven, and moreover, we have seen the sons of the Anakims there, which also were accounted giants as the Anakims. That also were accounted a land of giants. Giants dwelt therein in old times, a people great and many and tall as the Anakims, but their Lord destroyed them before them, and they succeeded them, and dwelt in their stead. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak. And it came to pass when man begun to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives, all of which they choose. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came into the daughters of man, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. I don't think many people know that um, only socialists publicly advocated genocide in the 19th, 20th centuries. I think that's, that's a very little known fact and, and it seems shocking if you mention it. I've, I've lectured on it here and in other universities and it's always, always greeted with a sense of shock. It first appeared in, in January 1849 in, in Marx's journal Neue uh, Zeitung. Engels wrote of the, uh, how the class war in Marxian terms means that when socialist, socialist revolution happens, the class war happens, uh, there will be primitive societies in Europe uh, two stages behind because they're not even capitalist yet. And he had in mind the Basques and the Bretons and the Scottish Highlanders and the Serbs and uh, uh, he calls them racial trash. Uh, Volker uh, Abfeller, racial trash. And they will have to be destroyed because being two stages behind in the historical struggle, it will be impossible to bring them up to the point of being revolutionary. He spoke about the vulgarity and uh, uh, dirty, dirtiness of, of Slavic people, you see. And, uh, he thinks, for instance, that Poland had no, no, Poland had, had, had no reason to, to exist. The classes and the races, too weak to master the new conditions of life, must give way. They must perish in the revolutionary holocaust. Karl Marx. Marx began it. He was the ancestor of, of uh, modern political genocide. And I don't know that any European thinker of the modern period before Marx and Engels ever publicly advocated racial extermination. I can't find anything earlier, so I presume it starts with them.